Hey, what's up? Uh, this is an EDC update for April of 2015, and I just got done editing it. It's like, I think a day or two later, and uh, I realized it ran really long, so I'm going to put up a shorter, quicker version of it, and then also leave this version up, which is uh, me rambling, and then a little more information on each item. But if you don't have the time, uh, head on over and check out my shorter version of it uh, for people that only have, you know, a few minutes. But I apologize for all the rambling and how long some of these videos go. I don't really realize it until I'm editing it. But, yeah, anyway, enjoy. Okay, it's time for an April EDC video slash update slash whatever it's friday i just listened to flying high again by ozzy ozzy osbourne badass song got me in the mood for making a video don't know why and just had some banging ass pizza hut and about to crack a beer <laughs> life's good right Yeah. Let's start off this EDC update video with my firearm. This is the, everything in this video is going to be the most carried stuff of April 2015. So we're in May now, so May might bring some changes. The month of May may bring some changes, but uh, this is the stuff I carried for April. Uh, the firearm has been a, this is most carried, I also cycled out my little North American Arms 22, but this is the most carried, and it is a Keltec P11. That is the model, and it is a 9 millimeter. I'll go ahead and clear it. I've been using, uh, not using. <laughs> I've been carrying. Uh, I think it's uh, Remington Ultimate Defense hollow points. I think they're like 125 grain, 9 mil. Uh, but. Magazine holds 10 rounds, tube holds 1 round, hence the P11. <laughs> but, go ahead and clear it. Awesome little pistol. I love this thing. Um, ever since I got it, I've been wanting to get like a subcompact, something smaller. But uh, I just love the size of this, along with the firepower that it also brings. I mean, it's as big as my hand. Um, and it's not too crazy wide, and it's a uh, double action only, kind of like a internal hammer there. See the hammer going. Um, but awesome little easily concealed carry pistol. I've been running it in the N8 squared tactical inside the waistband. Getting a text over here. Inside the waistband, uh, real strong spring steel on there and it's also tuckable for you dweebs that tuck your shirts in <laughs> no, I'm just kidding if you work somewhere that you need to tuck your shirt in uh, it's a good option to have a tuckable holster and a uh, big back back pad I guess you would call it uh, you know I don't know I don't know what the term is for this area but this this allows it to kind of blend a little better and you don't really print as much I've seen with these uh, because when you have a regular one you know, it's just that, and then your shirt pulls tight around it. But with this, it kind of gives it something to blend and kind of smoothens out the line. So you don't really print as much on top of it being a lot more comfortable. But uh, made in the USA, uh, crafted with pride, N8 squared tactical holster for this, kel P11. My knife I carried most this month has been the Kershaw Freefall. It is 8CR13 MOV, molded plastic, K-grip, uh, handle scales. It is a Tanto, kind of a modified Tanto. It's kind of like a slow curve there. But uh, Tanto nonetheless, which gives it a pretty pretty strong tip, as you can see there with the Tanto. Um, hollow ground, stone wash finish. Really comfortable jimping, really good ergos with the with the curve of the handle there. It just kind of melts into your hand. Uh, the flipper also acts as a guard, 
uh, for for slipping up on it and good belly to it good curve and it cuts cuts really comfortably it, there's no real hot spots for me at least but uh it is the Kershaw Freefall China made 8 CR13 MOV I think I already said that but it is the th model 3840 Kai patented awesome little knife slim in the pocket big backspacer there that kinda kinda molds into a lanyard hole there you could probably fit three strands of of filled paracord through there uh... 550 cord uh... deep carry pocket clip kind of a weird style of mounting the pocket clip there's two little like pins that stick up and one screw kinda weird but holds up not loose at all um... the only the only gripes I would have is the blade play loosens up over time, so I did have to blue Loctite the pivot screw. I've never had to do that with a folder before until this one. I don't know if it's just the screws a little bit out of spec and it's a little smaller or what. I don't know if people have had problems with it, but it does does loosen up and you know, if you don't watch it you could lose that freaking pivot screw and be screwed. Um <laughs> he loses screw and be screwed. But yeah, nice little knife. Uh, this is the most carried knife. This is like 18 bucks at Walmart I picked it up for. And that is a steal. If you're looking to get into knives, um, and you want like a badass little assisted opening EDC knife, look no further than the Kershaw Freefall for sure. The other knife I've been carrying on me. I'm a neck knife guy now. I love neck knives. And it is the Essie Azula 2. I moved up. I know I did a review on the little Boker one that's like about this big. <laughs> no, it's like that big. But uh, the little Boker Lil Friend Micro or whatever. And I think I said in that video how I wanted to move up. And this is a move up and in the right direction. This thing is awesome. I've done some really, really rough cardboard cutting with this. And it held up good. And it's really, really comfortable. It just kind of melts into your hand, as does that knife. But, uh, my Carta handle scales, they are removable. And there's a spacer in between there. And then, if you do remove the handle scales, you will have a, kind of like a paraframe knife. Um, huge hole here to run paracord through, or what have you. You could even put a carabiner on there. And it is textured. As you can, I don't know if you can see the texture, but the knife is textured. It's kind of like a powder coat. It says SE Knives, made in the USA, Azula 2, and then the serial number right there. They are serialized. Little three inch blade, full flat grind. And I bought this off of uh, Oso Grande Knives. I'll put their link down in the description. Fellow YouTuber, he does a. Uh, he does reviews and stuff like that and a bunch of knife videos, but that has been my... I like to have a fixed blade on me, just for the the sheer uh, security of using this for something harder use than I would want to put a folder through. You know, if I have an expensive folder on me I don't want, and I don't want to do something with it, I pull this out. And I have a fixed blade on me that I can baton with all day long and the pivot's not going to break or anything crazy like that. Um, watch. It's just a Timex Expedition in all black. Rubberized band on it there. One thing I didn't really mention before is this is kind of cool. How these are all squares and see that cut out there? When you, when you run it through, this has raised squares on it. So when you run it through, it kind of snaps on there and retains your band. So you don't have it all the way cinched down like that and that way you don't have it like this because usually watches have ones but they're just loose so they can slide on and off and all that kind of jazz but this this is kind of cool because it locks itself into place and then it stays there all day long so pretty cool little feature on there um, yeah a little Timex Expedition wallet is same old same old bank cards ID cards cash and then a little Fisher Space pen in there because usually when you're going to need a pen, it's nine times out of ten you're going to have your wallet out anyway because it's something with having to, having to do with money. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's a little um, real tree Walmart slim little wallet. This probably won't change for the next 85 years. No, I'm just kidding. But I barely go through wallets. 
I've hardly ever changed them. Um, keys, a little bit's changed on here. I went from the little Night Eyes S Biner, size number two, up to the Leatherman. And this is a Leatherman, I don't know what it's called, but it has a little quarter inch drive or quarter inch wrench there, little uh, bottle opener there. It's got like jimping on it. <laughs> I guess it's for if you're hardcore opening bottles. <laughs> it's got some jimping. Um, but yeah, like in this, I might run the key ring through the wrench, and hopefully it doesn't round the wrench out, but uh, I might run it through there just so it this doesn't turn around and stuff, and stuff doesn't back feed through it. I like my keys to be nice and tidy. Uh, but I went from the Streamlight Nano to the Streamlight Keymate. A lot brighter and a lot easier to use while trying to find my way to the door in the morning. The door of the house in the morning. Um, cool little textured key mate. Got a little peanut lighter on my keys. It's from Amazon because I quit smoking but I always wanted to keep a source of fire on me so got my little peanut lighter. Um, I made a little Chris Reeve style kind of snake knot uh, lanyard on there. Truck keys. I got the little Leatherman style CS on there. A uh, little scissors. It's got a knife, tweezers, little driver with a little file, um, and it just clips on there. This is also a bottle opener, so cool little removable tool there from your keys. Um, still got the little Night Eyes doohickey, and then house key on there. Uh, keys, a little bit's changed. I'll see how I like it. I'll run it for a little while and see how I like it. Um, phone is the... Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Awesome little stylus in the bottom there. You can just pull this out and write on it. It's basically like you always have pen and paper on you. Sweet little, uh, is, is a Tech 21 Impactology case. These are supposedly really good cases. Um, if you, if you take them off and look, they have like a, it's almost like a Dr. Scholl's, uh, gel around the whole edge of it so if it lands on its edge it really really absorbs and spreads that shock around so hopefully I never drop it but pretty damn good loving the Note 4 uh, my belt is just a 511 tactical belt uh, I'm not sure what model or anything like that but it's double it's double stitched double sided reversible you got your black and then you got that you can run it either way you want but super sturdy, keeps things on your belt where it should be. The light, um, I got rid of my secondary light, and I've been carrying just this, uh, but I've been running it. It's a tactical light, which I think you should have with uh, if, you, if you do carry a firearm, and it has just one double A in there. I used to run one CR-123, but I put the extension tube in there, and now I run one double A in there. But it's got strobe. Um, infinitely adjustable down to moonlight mode and then there's red, blue, red and blue flashing, SOS and beacon. So a bunch of different modes there. I usually just keep it on high. 550 lumens and uh, can obviously tail stand. Uh, the vape that I'm vaping on right now is the Joytech Ego 1. I went from the Joytech uh, Delta 2 tank and the huge Aspire battery. I went down to this like little like kind of more EDCable vape pen, uh, but the tank is much smaller, so I do have to carry the fluid with me in a little. Uh, don't really have to, but in case I run out, in a little plastic uh, squeeze bottle, and that also makes it way easier to fill. Once you have this all apart, it makes it way easier to fill the tank around the edge with this little needle point rather than a big dropper in a glass bottle. So that's how I carry my vape. And I'm down to 3% now, 3% nicotine. So uh, hopefully working my way down to zero and then nothing. Uh, Multi-tool, I've been rocking the Leatherman Wingman. Nice little spring-loaded spring needle nose pliers there. Um, it's got 2D Phillips, two-dimensional Phillips, and a big broad flat head there. Um, on this side it's got a package opener, Phillips, measuring tool, other side is a file, and then can and bottle opener. 
Um, and then the outside accessible tools are a nice little sheep's foot style kind of whatever blade. Partial serrations, probably about a third of the blade is serrated. Um, and then the liner lock. And then the other side has a big pair of scissors, big capable scissors. Um, and then these scissors are also liner lock, so you got to close them with the liner lock there. And then one other thing is with my phone, I've been trying out, but I've been carrying a lot of days this month. I've been carrying on the hip uh, with this kind of side holster thing. Um, and I'm, I'm liking it. I'm starting to like it. It frees up some pocket space, but then you also got this big heavy phone on your hip. So kind of double-edged sword, but I kind of like the idea of freeing up pocket space to maybe, you know, fit more stuff in. <laughs> That's what we're always trying to do, right? It's fitting more gear into our system. But uh, I'm always, I'm constantly, I mean, some days I change my EDC t two, three times in one day. So uh, constantly looking for upgrades. I'm constantly on YouTube looking up other people's EDCs and stuff like that. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching my rambling and kind of scattered mess of an EDC system. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, like, subscribe. Uh, keep a lookout. I have a 500 subscriber giveaway coming up. I think right now I'm currently at 326 or 426 subscribers. So I uh, hope maybe here in the next few weeks I'll hit 500 and pop off a giveaway and uh, give back to you guys a little bit. I'm still kind of looking around for a uh, ideas and stuff I'm stuff I might want to make and buy and have as 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 prize items for for VR's comments all all kind of stuff like that but this is my EDC I don't know how my pants stay up usually half the time they they barely are anyway but this is my EDC for April of 2015 and uh thanks again for watching and have a good one